Yeah. And so the, what I want to kind of show today is assuming that when you go in and if you're going, whatever presentation uh, media you're going to be using, wherever you're going to be promoting your video, um, you kind of understand how to use the tags for that system. So if you're going to be putting on a YouTube, how do you put in tags? How do you write your descriptions? How do you do that? And if you're not sure about how to do that, YouTube has great videos on how to do that on them, you know, for themselves. And I highly recommend uh, taking 20, 30 minutes and, and watching some of those videos. They're very good. And really pay attention to how to do the long tags and, and long SEO, not just single word or single phrase SEO. Um, you'll find most of the time single word or single phrase, those words, those phrases are already very well monopolized by other parties. Um, and we talk about this actually in our SEO videos. Uh, you'll find out there, there, oftentimes your competition can outspend you. And so if you pick a keyword and you go, okay, I want to just uh, promote the word POS, or well, you're going to find somebody out there is probably spending two, up to $200 per click for that. And, and you know that gets to be very expensive real fast. Where the word point of sale or restaurant point of sale, um, those type of longer tail keywords uh, oftentimes aren't purchased up. And so you can promote yourself for 10 cents, 15 cents per click, maybe even less. Um, me and Jerry are really impressed. A lot of our ads that we put out there, we're really paying six or seven cents per view. Um, sometimes not even that much because the longer keywords that we're promoting, which turn out to be very popular, just aren't being uh, bought up by somebody else. And so we're able to, to monopolize on that uh, where if we would have just picked POS or we would have just picked restaurants or we would have just picked bars, those words are oftentimes you've got 10, 20, maybe a hundred different uh, types of organizations and each one of those type of organizations might have 50 or 100 people inside those that are trying to buy those keywords as well and so they go to the biggest bidder um, so long tail keywords is actually a great way of, of trying to promote yourself and, and spending a couple of minutes and thinking about those um, really can help you out but that's not really what i want to focus on today um, i really want to focus on okay you've gotten in there um, you probably are going to start off with no followers, especially if you're using YouTube or any other type of social media, and you're going to need to look at how to start promoting that. And uh, the easiest way is to go in and set up a Google Ads account. Um, and don't be deceived. Google Ads is one of those situations that's very, very powerful. It's got some fantastic tools in it. It allows a lot of flexibility, but there's also a wide range. And if you, um, talk to a Google expert, you'll usually find that they push you to the very high range. And we've done a lot of this back and forth where we've spent, you know, lots of money in a month to go promote something. And we've had months where we spend very little and we found you can actually do very well. In fact, a lot of our promotions that we've done and we've only spent 40 or $60 a week, we found did much better than the ones that we were spending two or $300 a day. Um, and so there, it all is how you develop these and what your end goals are. And so the first thing you wanna do when you're, you're setting up is understand what are your goals. Um, and this sounds really counterintuitive. Most people wanna, you know, what, everybody who wanna advertise what is your goal? Well, your goal is always to make more money. But you really gotta think about it a little more than that. Um, and is your goal to get more phone calls, to generate more um, website traffic, or more physical location traffic? And I'll tell you this last one, is usually the worst one to look at electronic marketing for. Um, if you're gonna be doing YouTube marketing, if you're gonna be doing Google marketing, if you're gonna be doing social media marketing, people don't turn to social media to go look for a physical location very often with the exception if they're looking to go eat someplace. Um, but I don't really go on uh, uh, electronic media and look to go where to go buy my PlayStation 5. I look to see what reviews are. I look to see what people are saying about it. And then if I'm going to go buy it, I'm probably going to go buy it online because I'm already online to do it. So uh, keep that in mind as you're looking at this. I do highly recommend if your goal is to get more phone calls, um, 
you know, this is one great way of doing it, but make sure you're promoting your, your phone information. If, you're, if your goal is to promote website traffic, don't ignore that at the end of your videos or at the end of your media, you need to put your phone number um, because you are going to have old school people that want to call you as well. So you want to make sure you're doing that, but be prepared to promote both. You're going to need, in order to set up your Google Ads accounts, you're going to need a Gmail account to do so. Um, yes, you can set it up without a Gmail account. Is it more difficult? Exponentially more difficult. Uh, you'll also find some tools are not available to you if you don't do a Gmail account. So getting a free Gmail account makes this really work. and makes a big difference. Um, you'll need to, to make sure you write down your website URL and have where you want these uh, ads and stuff to direct somebody. Oftentimes you'll hear uh, everybody talk about a landing page. And so if you're going to have uh, media and stuff that you're going to be doing, do you want a uh, landing page that that goes back to? Keep in mind, if you're going to be dealing with a landing page, having a landing page with a long URL is going to directly impact you. So you want to make sure that your URL is short uh, for wherever you're sending them. Oftentimes it's good to just send them straight to your homepage um, if that's what you're going to be doing and having some type of contact information uh, right there on your web page ready to go. Uh, if you're going to be doing YouTube uh, videos, which I highly recommend, it's free to put them up there. They've got some great editing, editing tools. It's a wonderful place to kind of look at, at uh, developing followers and, and getting some things out there. Um, it's a, make sure what are your video URLs, that you know what that information is before you go in and start setting this up, uh, because you'll need those right up front. Uh, know your financial spending limits. Uh, this one I'm really going to tell you, be very careful. Uh, if you happen to call Google uh, support, which I'm going to give you their number for, and you go, hey, I really want to set up an ad campaign, and I really want to talk to somebody about how to set up an ad campaign, they are wonderful about doing that. But you have to understand their financial motivation is to get you to spend as much as possible, not necessarily to do what's best for you. And so they are going to try to hit your top financial goals, and, and they're going to try to get you to spend the most amount. Where spending the most amount isn't necessarily the best choice. I'm going to show you some spaces here where spending your money actually is a good idea and it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money to do. Okay, but know what your spending limits are. Where, where do you want those to be? Um, and be prepared to set up your billing account. So one of the things we're going to kind of take a stop at that billing account setup section and not go past that. But it will allow us to go through and set up our campaign, set up our email, set up our videos, and go through with that. Okay, so Google Ads. This is a number I suggest you guys write down. Um, these guys are fantastic help, um, but you do have to weigh their help uh, against what you know their goals are. So this 855-738-7723, you'll see this several times as you start setting up your Google Ads. It's one of the few times you can actually get somebody at Google on the phone and talk to you. Um, they will do everything for you. You can actually get complete ad campaigns where they'll build the videos and the whole thing for you. That is going to be very, very expensive um, to have them do that type of situation. Or they're there to help you, hey, look, I got stuck at setting up on my account. How do I go through and finish up my campaign? And they are very good at helping you go through and answer those questions and set up your campaign if you get stuck at anywhere. Um, but I do advise against asking them for financial advice or how much you, they think you should spend. They're always going to think you should spend $100,000 a month because that's how this person's making his commissions. So do be aware of that. Um, you, when you are setting up your, your uh, videos, you're going to be asked what how do you what do your goals are um, and those goals are going to determine how much google is going to charge you um, so if your your uh, reason for going into this is uh, driving sales you're going to find google's probably going to charge you the most for those types of campaigns when you actually look at the campaigns compared to brand awareness the campaigns do almost exactly the same thing um, they're both going to promote your videos. They may both allow you to, to promote AdWords, but the cost is very different. And, and we've laughed at this a little bit as we've discovered this. 
So when you go in and you decide uh, you're going to get this screen that you see on the right here uh, that asks you what is your goal during your campaign? Well, your goal most likely is going to be want to be brand awareness unless you really want to spend a great deal of money. Um, doing the same thing, setting up the same video under sales uh, might cost you as much as 200% more. Um, and you're going to have the exact same results. So I do tell people, be very careful of that. Um, but that's going to come up. And as you're setting up your videos, if you're doing this type of promotion, you're going to find you have several types of videos you can set up. And, and here again, we're going to run into these screens as we start looking at them. Uh, but you're going to have skippable long uh, videos. These are going to have longer run times. Um, and they are cheaper on a per click uh, basis. You can do bumper videos. These are gonna be really short. You only got six seconds. It's really hard to put together a message in six seconds. These are very hard to be very effective um, and get a lot out of. Uh, but if you're very creative, you can build these six second videos, which are very cheap to produce. Um, oftentimes they'll be 20 or $30 to produce a six second video uh, on Fiverr. You're going to, they're very cheap, cheap to place. Uh, oftentimes they're, they're two or three cents to place them uh, on, on a YouTube and, and two or three cents per click that you get on them. So, or pure view is how they, they check it. So it's very, very cheap, but they're very hard to get somebody to, to recognize you in six seconds. Um, you can do non skippable videos. Uh, these are the ones YouTubers hate the most. They're, they're interrupting your, your uh, viewing ability. They're really not the ones that are most entertaining. You'll see people's interest drop off pretty fast after the first three or four seconds. Um, they also tend to be, again, a little more expensive to run. Uh, you'll probably find at minimum, these are 15 or 20 cents per view to do. So it adds up very, very quickly. Uh, they can be as much as $20 per view if you're gonna be displaying them at certain times or to certain groups. So it's, it's a lot more expensive. Uh, the last two that you see here, outstream uh, and add sequence views. Um, outstream means Google's going to try to promote these anytime somebody goes out and searches for certain terms, and they're going to promote them on other people's uh, YouTube channels, and they're going to go out and try to promote them on other people's websites. This usually is not one of the best methods. Outstream videos and stuff are going to cost you a great deal more. Um, and it's going to be one of the things that oftentimes you're not reaching your primary uh, audience. And so you may get some brand awareness, but you're really not going to reach your, your primary audience. And it's usually a little more expensive for you to do. Uh, and the last one, the ad sequence ones here, I let it create several ads that will play over a period of time. And so the idea here is that you're going to have an ad that tells a story over the period of five or six or eight ads. Um, the real problem with this is oftentimes if somebody misses one of those ads in the middle and they don't fully understand your message because they've only seen part of it. And oftentimes the videos are played, even though you've set up a sequence, they may not necessarily play in that sequence. And so you may end up with people getting uh, an incorrect message just simply because the, the sequence is bad. Okay. So let's look at actually how to set this up. Um, I'm going to come in here real fast and share my my screen for my uh, web page here. And what I've done is I've gone to ads.google.com um, here at the top. And we're going to create a new account because this is usually where people start getting a little bit nervous of how to go through this process. Um, and it's actually quite simple. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go say, say, okay, here's my my account sequence, you're going to see it's going to go through some process in the background. Now, I've already logged in using my Google account. So you'll see here at the very top, I've already got my little Google icon here uh, for Chrome. And it already recognizes my name and everything from my Gmail account that's already set up. So it's going to pull up that kind of information. And then it's going to ask me, you know, what is my main advertising goal? And I can tell you here, getting more phone calls, and promoting your website, these two work paths are almost identical. They really don't change that much. Um, so I'm going to show you the get more phone calls option um, here.
And the next thing you're going to run into is, you know, you need to set up your, your campaign. You can do this either, you know, uh, use your Google business account and you're going to give your, your account a name, which we already have a Google business account. So I'm just going to change it to testing like this. Um, but you can choose not to use this info and it goes through a much longer, much more in-depth process. Um, I'll be honest, if it's your first time setting this up, this is pro, you know, choosing no, don't use this info is probably not the best choice for you. Um, it does take a lot of time. You're gonna end up watching a lot of videos and understand how to get to the next step and what those steps mean. There's a lot of very complicated terminology here. So for your first time going through, usually a good idea to choose that first option. And you're gonna get, here you go. So now it's going to ask you, you know, to consider uh, where your uh, your website is that it's going to chart. They're going to be looking at, and you can see because we've done this before because we're already Google customers. It's chosen the Aldelo Pay uh, website for us. You want to make sure you check your URL that it's spelled correctly. I've seen several mistakes people make by having an incorrectly spelled URL here. Um, so you do want to check that kind of information real quickly. Uh, Changing it after the fact is actually a little bit difficult. But what it's going to do here is when you go through this, it's going to pull information from that website so that you can understand uh, without having to go through the setup process, it's going to pull keywords, key phrases, and, and key information to help you optimize your, your information. It's going to go through and scan your website now, and it's learning a little bit about your business. This is going to go through and help you automatically pull keywords and SEO terms and information like this, you can see it, it pulled from that Aldelo Pay website. Here's what my mobile view uh, of what they're, they found is gonna look like. Here's my desktop view. Um, and so it, it's automatically gonna create a lot of information for me that I don't have to mess with. And I'm gonna go through to the next step. And now's when you get to kind of go through and, and write your ad. And it's already picked several things. So it says, hey, credit card counseling service. That's not really what we do. We're not a, a Pleasanton you know, credit council. We're not part of that. That's not what we do. So you can see this information that it pulled and it kind of made some guesses is incorrect. But it did also pull some good information. It's got our call information here. To change this, you're really just going to put in, you know, put your cursor in here and go, okay, what do I want as part of our header? Okay. And you're seeing here on the right hand side. This is what it's going to put as part of your ad header. So for Aldelo Pay, I would really put in low cost merchant services like this. That's going to be one of the first key phrases that I think I want people to kind of see and understand. Maybe the second one that I'm going to put in is going to be a great customer service here. Um, because we do offer free software. I really like putting that in here. And you'll notice I'm using long terms. I'm not going in and just putting in one word. Uh, Google does allow me to up to 30 characters. And I'm coming pretty close to the end of that every single time because this is going to change my search results um, for this. And so I'm going to go in and, and I would put in now a description and it says, Aldelo Pay offers quality accounts, um, credit card counseling for everyone. We don't offer credit card counseling. We are offer uh, merchant sale, merchant accounts. So I would change this. So um, you can quickly do that. And same thing with your secondary description. You can you can go through here and, and add this. Keep in mind you do have character limits here. So you want to think this out a little bit before you go through this. I'm going to click next. And it's now going to go through a process where here's some things that thinks I should tag my my stuff with. Here's some keywords we should use. And it and it found some other ones. So obviously we're not doing these types of things. We're not doing credit repair, we're not doing debt management, all of this. So here's where, again, you're going to look at long uh, keywords and see what you want to put in here. And again, I would put in um, low cost merchant services like this. I would put in that we want to have, and I would keep doing this 
the idea is to get as many key phrases in here as you feel you can put in, but you want to have that content on your website or in your videos as well. You don't want to put keywords in here because those will start working against you. You want to put key phrases in here. I just see it put in low cost holidays. Um, like that. Um, but you'll keep putting in as many um, keywords and key phrases as you feel like you need. And you'll see these little pluses down here. If I wanted, there's payment systems, e-commerce design might apply to us. Uh, mobile apps definitely applies to us. Digital wallets applies to us. Um, and as I click those, they pop up here. And you'll see each time you do, it starts to learn more about you and it will keep putting more and more up here until you kind of run out. Um, there is a point where it'll, it'll stop you. I'm gonna go to your next thing here and it goes, okay. We wanna know where your physical location is. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And now I'm going to stop here because this actually starts getting into what is your budget and it's going to make me start setting up my credit card information. So you can actually come into this section here and it's going to start going, okay, what do we, you know, here's how much it recommends that you spend. Um, here's how much you, if you really want to get into spending, but now you can go, I want to do my own budget. And you can start just by make, moving the slide where you really want to, to have that budget and where it's going to go. And the next section that's gonna have here, you're gonna have, you know, I want people to place calls, here's my stuff. I'm gonna move my, my um, number of miles and stuff maybe around me. But this is now gonna start uh, for a call campaign. If I was doing this and I wanted to do videos campaigns, at this point, instead of calls at this point, it would ask for a URL for my videos that I have. And that's gonna be the difference between those two campaigns is you're gonna start getting video campaigns at this point. Um, and once you click next here, you're actually finished. Um, it's going to, it's the next part is actually going to set up your credit card information, but you're actually done. Um, so there's a lot there to unpack. You guys have a lot you could actually do with this. And my recommendation is not to go nuts and spend two or three or $400 a day. Maybe start off and limit your spending to five or $10 a day and start seeing how you're doing. Also, don't be afraid to set up both a phone campaign and a branding campaign. You might find by doing both and spending $5 each on each one of them, that that really does drive both the phone half of the sales and drive your um, video part of your sales. So you have people both electronically signing up for you through your website and promoting your website, as well as finding you and finding your phone number when they do searches and when they look for your type of, of industry. Um, and so both can definitely benefit you um, here. Do we have any questions, guys? We had one that came up, up, I think you just covered, is uh, about the daily spending. Uh, you, we don't spend a lot of money on this. We, we do very well. We're very efficient on our per click and per view. Uh, it, Jeff, what are we getting for our uh, cost per view of our video ads? Um, right now, usually on the high end, I spend about seven six seven cents um, per you know, uh, full view, and that's pretty cheap. I'm usually spending, um, you know, our, our budget varies and stuff by time of year and by what we we want to promote. And so as we come out with new products and things like that, we, we change our spending limits and stuff on here. Um, but I have found spending $200, you know, a day and, and trying to do that kind of stuff isn't necessary. Um, but I can really do fantastic spending five bucks a day. Um, and especially if I'm doing a video campaign, because once I start getting people going to that video campaign, it will start actually getting subscribers, which boosts that. And that $5 a day or $10 a day I'm spending will actually start multiplying over a little bit of time. As you get a lot more hits on those videos and a lot more subscribers, they actually start becoming this self-sustaining situation. Um, and so you may end up spending a little more in the beginning, uh, but you're able to cut back over time very easily um, and, and make it a lot easier. Um, 
And does uh, Google have a list of keywords for merchant services? Yeah, one of the things that's actually really neat is once you get into this and you start actually using some of the tools, Google's got some fantastic tools uh, once you set up your campaign, you decide what you want, where you can actually search your competitors and see what keywords are on their website. And Google will start making recommendations that you put some of these keywords on your website, as well as putting it as part of your SEO and as well as promoting those keywords. Um, so if you are gonna promote keywords, um, which we found to be less efficient, but you definitely can, um, I would actually look at more than just merchant services. Um, oftentimes adding one or two words in front of it, like low cost merchant services or best merchant services, uh, all of a sudden you find key phrases that nobody's using. And where merchant services might cost you $20 per click, low cost merchant services might cost you seven cents. That's the difference between a short keyword and what is referred to in SEO is a long tail keyword. You just, that, that's four words, but if you can start doing low cost merchant services versus just merchant services, you're actually narrowing down the people who are going to look into a more targeted audience. So don't think of a one or two word as a ad word. Think of something as longer. Four and five words is very reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and on here. Want to sell. That would work. Yeah. That that type um, of that's a long tail keyword. But if you want to do that, you would want to do POS and point of sale being three words. So you have a total of six words there. That is a long tail keyword. Yeah. And one of the things you might, Doug, if you're looking at doing Tampa Bay PO, PO, uh, point of sale, is you can do uh, Tampa Bay Merchant Services. You can do Tampa Bay point of sale. You can do Tampa Bay bars. You can do Tampa Bay restaurants. And you'll find all of these slight variations of those phrases make a big difference. And if you're doing videos, you're not paying per keyword. You're, you're, these are tags that they're going to promote under. And so one of the difference between doing AdWords versus trying to promote a video is you can promote those videos under a variety of tags. And it's not uncommon. We have seven, eight, nine hundred tags that we've put in. And you're not paying cost per click on those keywords like you do AdWords. You're paying for the cost per view of your video. And so that makes a very big shift in your cost structure and, and makes a massive difference. Um, what is a how, maximum? How they... Go ahead, bud. Uh, Doug was also asking what is the maximum uh, keywords? So far, the maximum number of keywords that I've added to a video through Google is 1,500. And the reason I did it is because my finger stopped hurting. Um, and my goal was to get to see where I could get to. And at 1,500, I called it. Um, and I just said, no, I'm done. Um, it, it, it's one of those things that I don't think there's a limit to how many you can do. But you do have to be careful. There's a point where they don't apply to you anymore. And if they're not in your description, they're not in your, your script, they're not in your tags for YouTube, those will actually start to work against you. And you'll find that you actually um, aren't getting clicks and stuff from your target audience. Uh, Google will also kind of downplay your video a little bit if you're putting in keywords that don't actually appear in your script or in your description. So you wanna be careful of just adding stuff to habit. Um, so it's very, it's a balancing game that it's, it's, you have to have. So I remember when you did that and you were going and using the tools that Google has to let you, then Google searches your competition and sees what the keywords are they're using and ask you if you'd like to import those into your video. And you just kept on and on and on and just kept growing and growing and growing. It to be extremely huge, not just huge, extremely. Yeah. Another topic. Jeff, so, is how can how can these guys target to a geographic area like Doug down in Tampa Bay doesn't necessarily want to advertise in in California? Yeah. So one of the actual real neat things um, 
that would apply to you, and this is a really good way to helping manage your spending, is by default, Google's gonna have you set up all of these features in your campaign and uh, you know, try to give you the widest map they possibly can and, and set you up as default as the United States. But obviously, if you're not doing business across the United States, you really wanna focus on your local area. And you'll actually find once you get your account set up, uh, you'll get a toolbar that pops up on the left-hand side. And one of the things that's in there is locations. And you can start, um, the very simplest way is go, okay, I wanna pick a radius from this zip code, and boom, it will target just that zone. Uh, we use this quite a bit. Um, if we're uh, needing to have a more specialized campaign for different reasons, we will uh, have an ad that only plays for YouTube watchers in a specific area. Um, and that is a really neat way to both manage your budget and get the biggest bang for your budget. And that way, if you're in Tampa, Florida, you don't have somebody in Massachusetts that you're getting charged for. Um, it just doesn't make sense. Or somebody in Massachusetts that's calling you for help uh, and you're just not in his zone. Um, so locations will actually help you manage your budget and really get a big bang for your buck, especially on the video side. Um, the, uh, when you set up your phone stuff, like I have on the screen right now, they naturally do that for you. On the video side, they don't. You do have to go into locations, uh, put in the zip codes and stuff in the areas that you want, and you can actually limit your, your views to locations and stuff, and that's a powerful tool. So how do you find um, the competition? Your, their keywords. How do you find the competition? One of the really neat things in there is you go to keyword, which is another tool that'll be in there once you complete your, your stuff. Um, it'll ask you, actually ask you for the URLs of your competition. And you can put in as many of your competitors around you as you want. It will then come up and give you a list of the keywords and the tags that are already being used by that group. Um, and you can literally choose them by just clicking on them. Um, and it will all of a sudden move them into your group. You then accept them and you're done. It's that easy. And so a lot of times going over to the guy that sells clover in your area, checking his website, uh, using this tool, it'll tell you all the keywords he's using in his advertising and in his uh, website. And you can actually just go ahead and steal those over. Um, again, one of the things, if you're gonna do that, make sure those keywords either appear in your SEO your website description or actually in the content on your website because uh, Alexa and both Google Analytics, if you don't happen to, to uh, have that information on your website, will actually downgrade your search results. So you wanna be very careful of doing that. Um, and if you're doing Google keywords and you're promoting keywords that don't actually appear on your website, you're wasting your money. Um, because you'll actually um, impact your search results for that web page and, and decrease the value of, of the SEO on your web page. So be very careful with that. But when you're doing it for videos, oh, you can have fun with this. They do not decrease that much on your videos and you can pick a lot of it, but I do try to stick with things that are in your script or in the description of your videos or are actually in your tags. Okay, I have a couple of questions. Um, one is, it's, it's more SEO, but is do you, where do you put the keywords? And you have to put them on each page, not the same every page. Every page should be slightly different. Even though we're talking about Aldello, that page is going to be specifically about something on Aldello, whether it's Aldello Pay or Aldello Delivery, Aldello Mesa, Aldello Gift those keywords have to be on each individual page and that cannot be repetitive. You're also going to put in a description on that page that has to be different, but it's also loaded with the keywords. That's that search engine optimization. Then you'll have the different, um, they're called H1, H2, H3 tags, which are your headers. They read that, the, the spiders read that as H1 tags, that's the big header. H2 is a little bit smaller and H3 is, is even smaller than that. All those are search engine optimization tools that you have to have different on each individual page. I hope you understand that because if you don't, go watch our videos on 
search engine optimization for Aldelo dealers. It gets into specific details about that. Jeff, what'd you just load, bud? Um, Doug was asking, uh, how do you set up your YouTube channel? And one of the things, um, please forgive us, Doug, there's only so many minutes that we have in a day. Um, and we've already kind of exceeded where we like to take up your guys' time. Um, and that wasn't going to be the focus of our, our channel today because we've actually covered that in one of the previous ones. But I actually sent you a video. Uh, it's one that I actually took a look at this, this person's work uh, just in the last couple of days. They actually go through from start to finish how to set up your YouTube channel and how to go through and, and edit your videos and stuff and how to go through and do some things. And they actually have a series of videos. Um, on exactly how to go do it. And they're very easy to understand. They'll get you started from, from start to finish. It's a good beginner's guide to how to go and set up and manage your YouTube channel. Um, one of the problems with a lot of the, the videos that are out there is they're a little bit dated. This one, this lady keeps these up, you know, and it does a very good job with it. So this is a good place to, to start there. Um, and, and is a good place to start looking. And it's uh, each one of her videos and stuff is usually not more than about 15, 20 minutes um that she does and she's got a very popular following she knows what she's doing so a uh, good item to look at um by the way that same video i posted there uh somebody else was asking how to set up the tags for your videos she actually covers that as well in that video so that's one that's that's very good to take a look at So any other questions, guys? I know uh, usually we try to limit these to an hour. We're, we're definitely exceeding that this time, but if you guys have more questions, me and Jerry are happy to see So yes, there's actually some fantastic softwares out there. Um, Google for free, this is where having a Gmail account really helps because uh, if you do the basics, which is what we're kind of showing you, you understand how much it costs you for the per click and they have some great graphs and everything that are on a dashboard that they'll show you and, and they'll give you the information. Now, how much for the conversion, you're not gonna know unless you go through and you set up landing pages and you can actually go in and Google has tools and it's a little more advanced, but uh, you can use Google Analytics to set up landing pages and they will yep. tell you how many people went from YouTube to fill out your form on your web page. They obviously can't tell you how many people purchased because you're going to be the only person that knows that. But they mm -hmm. will know how many people went from your YouTube video to your landing page. You can determine that and you can even see who they are. Google Analytics yeah. is powerful. Powerful. Yes. And it's free. It's, it's, it's free. just really super software for uh, doing analytics of your entire website down to conversion rate who visited international domestic by region what time male female age all of that is it, just it is free it's yeah. it's a fantastic piece of software google also has other softwares that will help you uh, maximize your seo so google is fantastic for that and if you don't happen to like the one from Google, check out Alexa. Um, you do have to pay for that one. Uh, my Alexa is going nuts now. Uh, check out Alexa for business. <laughs> um, you do have to pay for that. And I'll be honest, for what you pay for, I don't think you get the same value as you do for Google. Uh, you get a much better value out of the Google tools uh, because most of them are free. Um, you can pay for some of them and get even more. but. Uh, even when you pay, I think you get a huge value for what you're getting. But the Alexa.com tools are beautiful. There's a lot of lessons and stuff they have about SEO and, and business there. Um, they do have some shortfalls. So don't, you know, uh, for instance, if you're using um, Google to promote your business, Alexa is really not going to know that. But they do tell you, like, uh, if you have a YouTube video you associate with your Alexa account along with a landing page that you're using, it will tell you information about all those. It will also give you alerts and other information about when your competitors change their website or they have new topics that come up. And you can see what keywords and SEO that your, your uh, competitors are coming up with and you can put your top five competitors in there and keep track of all this. 
it's got some very cool, uh, what I, I jokingly call uh, tracking features. Uh, and, and they will give you information about your local competition. Um, and it is a very powerful tool. Do I think it's worth $125 or something like that per month? No, not even close. Um, I would use the Google ones and I do use the Google ones. Um, and I have access to both. <laughs> Jeff, can I take the screen back? Please do, sir. Um, let me, there you go. What I've done is I've gone to uh, Odello University. There were some questions about the videos. And this is our uh, Odello University site. I'm going to go to customize channel just so you can kind of see a, a little bit about the um, how we have our videos set up. I'm going to go to edit and then go down here. This is the description. The description should have a lot of your keywords in it, along with your uh, tagline or your your actual title. So the title is Reports in Adello University Stop Employee Theft. So that's that's one long tail keyword. Adello Express is another, and Reports is another keyword. So I made sure that those are in the description. And then when you come down, you get into different categories or playlists that you are in there, that you want in there. And then here are the tags. All these are tags for the dip, for this video. Now this need to be specific to this video, but nonetheless, stop employee theft, employee theft. All these are different tags that are keywords that you have now attached to this file for this, this particular video. The number two search engine in the world is YouTube. So you do have to use your keywords in order to really get the full benefit from this. So your title has to be have keywords, your description has to have keywords, and then your tags. Okay. And keep in mind the tags Jerry's showing are the ones on YouTube. You can actually go into Google and if you're promoting this specific video, not only would I suggest you promote every single tag that you have there, but now you have an unlimited number of additional, uh, they call them style keywords. Unfortunately, I, I apologize for the confusion there, but Google will let you pay to promote even additional keywords. And, and you don't pay per keyword if you're promoting a video, you pay for the video click. So you might as well go nuts and put in a ton of them there. Um, but when you're looking at the video that Jerry was pointing out and the keywords that are there, those keywords should have some direct relationship to that video. Otherwise, um, YouTube will actually not promote that as much. So you want those keywords either in your descriptions, you want it in the verbiage that's actually in the video because they search that. Um, otherwise, you know, it's not as, as uh, productive for you. And if you're going to pay to produce, to promote even more, that's wonderful, but you might as well promote the ones you have there too. We understand that our competition spends a hundred times more a day than we do on ads. We, we get that. But if you work with us and you do these things with the videos, you set up your own video channel. You set up your own YouTube channel, your own website. If you do all that better, then we combine efforts and our combined spending then will help create the brand, spread the brand and benefit everyone. This is today's way of creating leads is through videos and website optimization. What we're finding um, with competition where we're not gaining the business is through uh, the website and this now this YouTube stuff. You are missing out. We're getting the, the leads and we're getting the, the the clicks on our website from this effort. So we know it works. What you're not doing is what we want you to do here. If you can follow us here and, and do better in your own marketing, doing your own videos, having your own YouTube channel, having your own uh, optimized website, then as a group, we can then combat the uh, big spenders in this market. 
we're just that's really the only thing we've got the better solution and you know that you you guys know we have a better solution or you wouldn't be with us we just need to get that word out and you're going to have we're asking for your help to make that happen jeff what else you got bud uh doug was asking uh what is the link for in the video so you i think what he might be asking is there on your screen there's a, a link to your video there that is the yes. um, direct link for that specific video and if you're setting up google ads or promoting that specific video that would be the link you would put in for your promotion if you were sending this video to somebody that is a link you would send them for that i, I hope that's what you're asking for doug um, so. yeah whenever i send out an email to you guys that has a link to the video on youtube that's all i'm doing is copying that link information right there and the way you do that is by clicking here and i've now put that in my clipboard so now it's copied i can then paste that into an email or it, uh, attach it to a, a, an image as an html uh, link very very easy to do so can i put that into a qr code yeah, um, hmm. QR does allow for it. If I was doing it, Doug, I'm not sure why, where you'd be using that QR code, but if I was going to use that in my advertising, going through, um, uh, let's say, MailChimp or Constant Contact or something like this, you absolutely can turn that into a QR code, use it that way. If I was going to put it into some type of printed material that I was going to have printed up because business changes so often, I would actually have a URL that's part of my domain that I could redirect um, and I would do it that way. Um, but if you're doing something that's gonna go in constant contact, that is the one you would use. Jeff, you just hit a good point. It, it really would help their website if for every video they had a landing page. This video mm -hmm. then would be embedded into that page and get even more traction. Yeah. And a lot of times, if you're if you're sending out email contact information to people, um, sending out links to to your uh, YouTube channel, sending out links to your specific videos and stuff, you'll be amazed at how often people will actually click on that. Um, it, it's very impressive, actually. And we've had lots of people. But if you're going to make um, like Constant Contact or Mailchimp or something like that, do keep in mind if. Uh, you have a QR code that usually requires somebody to have a separate device to kind of scan it. <laughs> so if I'm looking at it on my phone, uh, that's not always the most helpful. You'll want to put the URL someplace uh, usually underneath the QR code so that they can just directly click and make it easy. Um, and I know Constant Contact helps you do that. Um, MailChimp and some others, I'm not 100% sure, sure if they do or not. Everything we're teaching today helps you look bigger than you are. It helps sell the potential customer that you are a professional, that you know what you're doing. This is another area we've talked about where you start doing this and you're doing something your competition is not doing. You can become the known expert in your market by having these type of videos, landing pages, optimized websites. This makes you the, the leader in your market. I, gosh, I hope you see that. I really do. I, I'm preaching here, I know, but I just am passionate about this is the marketing of today. This is the, what is working. And we've proven that. 